talking about how religion and science work together. And if we're doing it correctly, they should support one another. So this week, as we move into earthquakes, I wanted to show you um, something that President Nelson had talked about and get you thinking about um, maybe our role in this earth as we're starting to um, move into a time where the prophets have told us that there are going to be more earthquakes and other natural disasters. So he specifically talked about earthquakes and said that they will be increasing. But he says there's also earthquakes in our homes emotionally, financially, and spiritually, which we all know. And then he tells us how we can heal those. And just think we just finished Third Nephi where we have the destruction before Christ came. And I imagine myself if I'd been sitting there and well, obviously not sitting there, but if there had been a major calamity and the earth had opened up and swallowed people up and they were um, struggling to survive, what I would have done. Well, he tells us the priesthood power can calm the seas and heal fractures in the earth. That made me really stop and think, would I have the faith in something like that to know for certain that I could use the power available to me to heal the earth, heal somebody else. It, it's really made me consider that. And I really like it. it's such an amazing time we're living in where we're being taught about women's relationship to those powers and that there's a difference between priesthood power, priesthood authority, priesthood keys. And the prophet says that he yearns for us to fully understand so that we recognize that the, pa the powers that are available to us. And then I really like what Sister Eubank says because it, it makes me think of that thought of if I'm in a disaster situation and people are hurt, you know, what is my role? Well, if I understand that I have access to priesthood power and that by accessing it, I can bless the lives of others it's made me think more fully about how much I need to make sure that I am living worthily, that I understand those powers, just exactly like um, Preston Nelson has told me that I keep my covenants so that I am prepared for a time where my family or others around may need that. So I also just want to plug General Conference. I love General Conference in our family. It's like the Super Bowl. We prepare our food, we gather, and just think that it's an amazing time, and I'm really Really glad we get to listen to the prophet this weekend. In our church, we had the first chance to actually gather a few people. Um, we did a virtual testimony meeting, and the way they did it was they invited about 10 people to come over to bear their testimonies. And my husband was one that was invited, and he was he was stupid enough to ask if I could come too, which I'm grateful because I got to go as well. Didn't realize no one else could. Um, it felt so good. I just, I can't even tell you. It, I'm sorry. It was really a Pentecostal type experience to feel the spirit again. And I just, I was so grateful to get together and feel their testimonies. So I didn't mean to cry, but um, that is how I feel about the spirit. And I just wanted to share that. And so um, I hope you guys enjoy conference this weekend. <laughs>